Okay, so the problem I had was this. I had all these pictures that I had on, um, on Google Photos, and I was fine with that for many years. And then I wanted to go and move over to, I wanted to move all my pictures over to, over to OneDrive. Um, the reason is I betrayed you all and bought an iPhone. Um, and I don't want to pay for two lots of storage. So I didn't want to keep giving Google the three quid a month, whatever it is, just for storage with them. Um, but at the same time, I didn't want to give loads of money to Apple either. So I was like, hmm, okay, what do I do about this? And I thought, I've already paid a terabyte. I already have a terabyte of storage on OneDrive because I get it as part of my Office subscription, which I'm never going to cancel, really. So I was like, I'll just move it all over to OneDrive. That'll be fine. Um, so I went to Google Takeout thinking I could just move them over. And I even found a selection box that's like, yo, send these to OneDrive. And I was like, great, I'll do that. And I clicked it and I forgot about it. To then find out I just had all these zip files in an apps folder on OneDrive because God forbid it should do something sensible. It just put them all in zip files. It split it two gigabyte. Great, thanks. Um, and so I had to download all the zip files, extract all the zip files into one folder, which left me with one monumentous folder with all my 200 gigs worth of pictures, or actually 250 gigs worth of pictures in. Um, and every picture was accompanied by an by a JSON file, because of course it was, fucking brilliant. Um, that was brilliant. It was great. Uh, so what I need to do was take these pictures and drop them onto my camera roll in OneDrive, and then just delete the originals. You'd think that'd be easy. You'd think there'd be a million tools for that. Turns out there's not very many. There's a few things claiming to do it, but they're all rubbish and they're just copy folders. I need something to look at the XIF information and just actually sensibly move them and sort them. Now, if I was a Linux user. I would use Rapid Photo Downloader because Rapid Photo Downloader is astonishing and just works really well. You just install it and it's just like a Python thing. It'll just like, it's a button and just like import them and it just goes, okay, and just does it. Or there's even uh, XIF, uh, there's a script that does it. XIF info, I think, will do it with a script as well. So you just copy based on XIF info. There's a million ways to do this in Linux, zero ways to do it in Windows, and especially nothing baked in. Because I open the Windows Photos app and be like, okay, import. No, that's not a thing. You'd think it would be a thing. It is not a bloody thing. It's super annoying. So uh, anyway, the solution for this uh, was this application called XNView MP. Now XNView has been around for donkey's years. And I remember using it back when my memory of it is sepia. So <laughs> it's been around forever. And, what it, and it claims to have all these cool options, which I don't want. All I want is one menu item. And I've tried a bunch of things. I tried dark table. I tried like video. In, I tried photo importer, photo manager. I tried all these things. And this is the thing that did it in the end. So I'm going to show you this now. Um, so this is. I'm not going to show my actual pictures folder for obvious reasons. You don't want to see loads of pictures of my junk selfie. There's no junk selfies. There is. Um, so this is just looking at my my wallpaper folder at the moment, which has just got you know a bunch of wallpapers in thumbnails turned off because you know I don't want to show you my pictures of random hills and stuff. Um, and if you go into tools here, there is a button that says import and sort. And there you go. You tell it your source directory. You tell it your destination directory. So in my case, my source directory is my unzipped folder of pictures from Google Takeout, and I think include subfolders. And then I point it at my camera roll, which is my uh, my OneDrive camera roll, because that's where OneDrive puts your pictures. So I might as well follow suit. And I told it I want subfolders of year, year, year. So four digit years and two digit months. So each, so if I open my pictures, my camera roll, I have 2009, January, February, March, April, May, just numbers, right? Um, that felt like a good way of sorting it because some years I got many photos and knowing sort of like my birthday's in June so like roughly where to look made more sense to me so I was like yeah we'll do that um and yeah uh, there's a little tick box of videos as well and again subfolder yo 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 it's not quite as granular for uh, videos because the exif information is not there um but that just was fine and then I hit okay and it crashed <laughs> and I think it crashed because I had 200 gig worth of 250 gigs worth of video of, of uh, images. So what I did was I made a, I just basically just took the first chunk and put it in a folder, took the next chunk and put it in a folder, and I just split it basically three ways and then did it in three hits. And it took ages, but it worked. It didn't crash out. Now, when you hit OK, I'm not going to do it now, obviously, because I don't need to. But it's going to have a little box that said analyzing or searching or finding or basically it's just looking at your at your folder. It's pointed it out. Depending on how many pictures in that folder, it may take ages. Now, if it's crashed, it'll just never finish. <laughs> so just beware, right? Just, you know, beware. There comes a point where you go, well, this has been going too long now. Uh, in my case, that was, you know, the, the first time it crashed. I was like, oh, no, it's not going to work. So I, I did do some test folders. And I was like, it does work. It's just the size of it. So I ended up splitting them. And then I did one folder at a time. So it pops up. It says analyzing. When it gets to 100%, it hangs for what seems like eternity. Basically, it takes twice as long as it makes out from the bar, essentially. And then it just starts moving the files. And it'll just be like, move in. And just move it. Sometimes it'll say it failed because the destiny because the source file doesn't exist. And what seems to happen is it's doing them so rapidly, it seems to trip over itself and try and like 
move stuff it's already moved and then it just trips up but i managed to move all my photos and i detail checked them i was very careful to check everything and it didn't lose a single picture when it finished there was a bunch of stuff left in the folder it didn't move but those pictures was also in the destination so it's not perfect but it did move all my photos and i checked all of them and they was all moved lovely now they're all in one drive which was great but all I wanted was this window right here as its own application. I don't want the rest of the application. I just want this window. And that's what photo download, what rapid photo download on Linux used to be. And now it seems to have evolved past that. But, you know, um, yeah, it's a shame there's nothing like that on Windows because I just want this one little window to do all my stuff. Um, if you're moving from any service to any other service, as long as you can download them, this will absolutely work. It will absolutely work for you because you just get your local file system, move them around, and let you download tools managers. This is one of those times where, like, in my head, I was like, surely this something can just plug into Google Photos and plug into OneDrive and just make that happen. Um, but because of the proprietary nature of all these services, it just became easier to download the whole thing and then re-upload the whole thing somewhere else. That just felt easier. Um, once I've got all that done, I've just just deactivated Google Photos essentially. I've just stopped paying them. I've just pulled the plug on Google Photos. Um, and that has been absolutely fine now. Um, and they're all on OneDrive safely. I haven't gone as far as deleting them from Google Photos because I'm like, why why bother? Just just whatever. Just leave them there. They're not doing any harm. But in the future, if Google become any more sketchy than they already are, I might want to do that. Um, and there's also the chance of like, should I be re-uploading these to uh, to um to iCloud now on iPhone? I mean, that'd be good. And if ever I do buy, get around to buying a Mac, which I do want to do, if I ever do get an, get like a, a MacBook, um, I'll, I'll be out. What I might do then is, is re-download them again on the MacBook and then re-upload them using whatever tool the Mac's got. But they're already sorted now, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I have a sneaky feeling Mac's got some better import tools than the nonsense built into Windows Photos, because Windows Photos, like presents itself like it's competent and you're like oh this is just an image view with folders this is rubbish but it just looks like it's competent and it has all these plugins and stuff and doesn't do anything actually useful but yeah um yeah x and x and x and view zin view mp x and view mp uh it's great i really like it and i have no criticism this has been seven minutes of your life you're not getting back hopefully i've helped someone if i have please do thank me if i haven't watch some else i guess bye